Hi, I'm Troy Brennemeyer. Welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. In today's lesson, I'm teaching you my arrangement of Sitting on Top of the World, and uh, it's in open D tuning, and although I do play it on Weizenborn, you could also play this arrangement on Dobro or Lap Steel tuned to open D tuning. That's D A D F sharp A D from your lowest to your highest string. Now with this one, uh, there's no jam track with it because I arranged it for a solo instrument. So in this particular case, I'm playing it solo Weizenborn. Like I said before, you could play it solo Dobro or even on lap steel if you wanted. And this one, we're using the technique alternating bass with the right hand or Travis picking as some people call it. So if you're ready, go ahead and print out your tablature and let's get going with learning sitting on top of the world in open D tuning and also in the key of D. Let's get going. Okay, so to get us going here, this first phrase will start on the and of beat three, and it's a little walk up into uh, into the main part of the tune, and we're going to play measures one, two, and about half of measure three. Let me play it really slow, just to show you what it sounds like slowly. Here we go. right there with that open six string on uh, beat three of measure three. So one more time. Okay, so kicking us off on the end of beat three, we have our bar tilted up. On, we're on our first string. And we're gonna walk that up fourth fret, fifth fret, 6th fret, and then boom, we're right into measure 2 there. Now notice my uh, palm blocking that I'm doing with this. So in between each note, my, my the heel of my hand is in front of the bridge, and I am muting that out. You know, in between 4, 5, and 6. 4, mute, 5, mute, 6. We're on to measure two there. So on measure two, we've got seventh fret, first string, and open sixth string. Now, watch that you don't play this out of tune. Sometimes I am a little bit flat with it. So I, the way it's looking on my Weizenborn is um, that it looks like I'm a little in front of the fret from where I'm looking, but I'm sure I'm right over the fret if it's in tune. But just use your ear, try to get that in tune. Four, five, six, seven. And then an open fourth string with your thumb. 
So where the alternating bass is going to happen, as with all my arrangements, um, it's going to be the sixth string to fourth string. All my arrangements, meaning my alternating bass arrangements, a lot of times you can do that alternating bass on your sixth string and your fourth string. Okay, then in beat two of measure two, we've got, and you'll see this pattern a lot in this arrangement. Okay, I'm playing sixth string with my thumb, second string with my middle, fourth string with my thumb, third string with my index. And those are all sixteenth notes, so they're all even. So if we put that beat one on there, seventh fret, first string, and that's half of measure two. Count that, that's one and two E and a. One and two E and a. And beat three is. So you, you play open sixth string, have your bar in your ninth fret first string, and then play that open fourth string, open third, just like you did in beat two there. Always keeping that heel of your hand in front of the bridge, so if you ever need to mute out, you can just roll it back. Okay, then in beat four of measure two there, we've got this. We're grabbing our sixth string, and we, our bar is tilted up in between our first and third string, grabbing our second string, ninth fret, and we're just going to slide that down to our seventh fret. And then pluck a double stop there of open fourth string, open first string. Just like that. So if we put um, all of measure two together, sounds like this. One and two E and a three E and a four E and. One and two E and a. Okay, and then if we put that together with measure one, here we go, one, two, three. Okay, and then in measure three, we've got this, kicking us off, and that's just a quick slide from seven to nine on my second string, but I'm plucking my sixth string and first string together, thumb index middle alternating bass of my open fourth string there. Open sixth, open second, open fourth, open third. So that same pattern that we had in measure two, and you'll see that throughout the tune too. So just get used to doing that. Six, two, four, three. So one and two E and a. And then in beat three of measure three, we've got Just open sixth string, ninth fret first string, open fourth, open third, and then grab your seventh fret first string with your open sixth string. And then when you go to do that open fourth string for your alternating bass, move the melody note or your highest string up there to your ninth fret first string. Okay, so I think that might be a little bit more than what I said and thought that we would get to on uh, this first little phrase. So measures one, two, and three together. One, two, three. And that covers it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next phrase.